Welcome back to my channel. It's time for a new project. This time I want to uh, make another engine block. One and a half years ago I did the, the Sundup engine block with a 4 speed. And this time I want to do the 5th speed version. So I updated the 3D model. The, the, the gear housing part, it's a little bit wider than the, the 4 speed. I ordered some new material, it's almost 37 kilo of uh, 60-82 and the first part I want to machine is the, the part that, that will house the gears. Um, it has some, some challenges inside because it's a almost 8 centimeter wide part so it's going to be a challenge to uh, mill the sides. I don't want to make a complete machining video of the whole engine. I just want to make some short clips, put them all together. Don't explain every step I'm going to take. I want to use the fifth axis later on to drill the oil channels in here. Because you have to hold the part in quite a few different angles. Last time I did it on the manual mill. But let's see if we can do it CNC this time. First challenge I will have is to rough out the outer contour of this part out of this uh, block of aluminium. But since the part is super tall, I cannot reach it with my regular tools. So I have this uh, cheap AliExpress indexable uh, milling cutter. So let's see if I can use this to go almost all the way through the the material and then later use my uh, 16 millimeter long reach finishing end mill to see if we can make these sides look shiny. I now roughed out the first 30 millimeters of the part and there's hell there's a lot of chips gonna come up this part. I believe 90% of the stock have to be removed to finish the part. So now it's time to load in the longer tool. I I, I first tried to do it with the index mill, but it's it's the stick out is too long, it makes a horrible noise so first let's try to do most with normal end mails and then if I, I cannot reach it all anymore then I will switch to the indexable end mail to do the last to the last step now the next 30 millimeters have been roughed out, almost almost there. So since my tool can now not reach uh, that depth anymore, I'm gonna switch back to the indexable end mill. I just do it slow, and we'll finally get there. side perimeter has now been roughed out. Now the big challenge is going to be finishing this uh, almost 8 centimeter high wall. So 
let's make some programs and see how it goes. The outside has now been finished, now it's time to work on the inside where most of the material will be removed. I'm first gonna drill some holes uh, all the way through so I can use those holes as uh, plunge positions for the end mill. I roughed out the first 30 millimeters. Now I first want to finish it because you can already hear it starts to get a little hollow. The inside is now uh, mostly finished. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the top side, drill all the holes, uh, use a boring bar to make the dimension right for the bearing that fits inside and have to cut a groove for the for the clip to keep the bearing in place and do a lot of chamfering and then th the first side first operation will be finished Op 1 has now completely finished, drilled all the holes, chamfered everything, double checked if I didn't forget any features, so now I can get it out and mount it to the picture plate I used for the last engine, so I can flip the part around, clamp it, and then uh, face off this 10mm extra stock and machine all the features on the other side of the cutter. For the second operation on this part, I created this fixture plate. Uh, it looks like a place with a Swiss cheese. Uh, the whole pattern matches the holes in here. What I did is the, these holes need to be uh, all the way through, but I drilled a little bit smaller hole in the middle part so I can uh, cut some thread in it. Then I will put the part on here and then I can mount bolts from the bottom into here and uh, I use the original uh, aligning pins I also put them in this part so this part is always uh, nicely rotated on this part so I can use the, the side of the fixture to set my uh, Z or Y axis 
and the, the, the Z axis height is just the top of this plate. I forgot to make uh, a few videos until this step. Uh, most of the inside work is now finished. Now I'm gonna drill all the holes and then I'm gonna use the boring head to uh, make this bearing, this bearing hole and this bearing hole to the right size. This operation is now also finished. Next step for this part will be when the other half is finished to machine the cylinder connection. And when that's finished, I'm gonna mount this part in the fifth axis and drill the oil channel to this bearing and the oil channel from this point to there. Off camera, I created um, a machine this small. Uh, bracket which can hold uh, engine blocks this this will be the end for this video on the next uh, part video I will uh, machine the other half of the main part of the engine I will cover cover the machining of this one in the next video thanks for watching and see you back in the second part.